Hello, Muscle Car Corner, bringing you some more Mopars. We've got three of them in a row right here. <clears throat> really nice RT Cornette, black, orange interior, really wild. It is a four-speed car. 68 Cornette convertible, 95,000 miles on it. Says it was, uh, must have hit in between 60 and 70 grand because it sold. A really nice car. Take a look at the interior on this. These RTs are super cool. And look at the color on this. That's wild. 51,000 retro miles. Cornet RT. Man, that interior is super cool. If you're a Mopar fan, you like that. These cars have already sold. Love the color keyed stripe. <clears throat> it's neat. There's something about the back end of these coronets. They're so unique. So cool. I just love the design of this. You know, look at the, the deck lid. How they had a rib in the center. It's just really cool styling from the back. You know, here's a Here's a 69 RT. It doesn't look quite like it. Or 70, I believe that is. But RTs were just a neat car. They were the lower line. But they sure were nice. These wheels work on this car. I'm not a big fan of aftermarket wheels. Love that Hearst shifter. It's got an aftermarket vintage air. I tell you, you don't see these cars hardly at all. There's not many of them around anymore, especially in a convertible. So let's take a look at the motor real quick. Hope this guy doesn't, yeah, I can't get it. It won't open. Well, that's at uh, 68 RT. Here we are, uh, this uh, 69 Cornette RT. This car is really nice. I don't care for the, the uh, pastel yellow as much but it's still a really neat car I'm going to go ahead and video all three of these cars for you 55 to 65 so it must have gone up because it sold Fifty-two thousand miles on it interior's original on it it's a torque flight car It already sold. But if you look, you know, it could have took the door handle off, spraying the rubber on it. It's got kind of a quickie paint job on it. I'm sorry, I always have that eagle eye. I've been in the body business for 50 years. Uh, I'm critiquing cars and looking at paint because I was a perfectionist when I did paint work. Did it the best of my ability. But pretty sharp and we got an ARR Cuda here which I really love I've looked at quite a few of these cars there's a lot of them here this year at Mecham and uh, this one's going to Danbury Danbury Bury, Connecticut it does have a an original broadcast sheet there on the window on the other side these are so cool. We looked at uh, Tim Wellborn's 8,400 mile ARR Cuda. Me and Jeff Stunker did a video yesterday on it. And it's the nicest Cuda on the planet. Um, you can judge all other cars by that one. Because it was garage kept its whole life. Never saw rain, never saw salt. It was just amazing if you guys look at that video. Um, it's it was uh, limelight. I just love that car, but this one's nice too. And I wonder what it went for. It doesn't stay. So here's a broadcast sheet telling all the information about the vehicle. Well, Muscle Car Corner bringing you some really neat Mopars. 
and uh, just wanted to uh, get all three of those together and, and uh, do a video on them. If you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends. Sure appreciate y'all. Now let's listen to this vet real quick. Nice big block side pipe. Sorry, I got distracted real quick. Back to Mopars. Thanks so much.